Thank you for watching us live from Sahar TV Channel 2. Today is another beautiful Wednesday. It's 26th of September. It's, it's the end of the summer in Iran and the weather is so uh, mild. It's not very cool. It's beautiful. It's so wonderful for those of you who love nature, especially this season. Head down to Iran and make yourself beautiful uh, memories and time in Iran. In today's program, we have dear guests in the program. We have Mr. Martin Monkholm and uh, his mother, Hannah Monkholm. Uh, welcome to Iran Travel Guide, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice Thank you to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Monkholm is a Danish uh, carpet merchant who has been in Iran so many times, and this time he's in the studio with his mother, and I hope we're going to have a wonderful time and talk about Persian carpets and everything in Iran. Well, Mr. Monkholm, would you please talk about uh, anything you like about yourself and introduce yourself to the audience, please, first. Yes, I can <coughs> do that. Um, to, uh, to tell the Iranian history of our family, uh, my parents uh, went here the first time in 1977, back in the Shah time. And they have been uh, traveling <coughs> in Iran regularly since, only uh, during the, the war, uh, uh, when uh, you were attacked from uh, Iraq, they did not come so often. And um, myself, uh, I was, uh, uh, I had my education uh, about Iranian carpets in Hamburg. That's interesting. In the, in the time from uh, 1989 and until 91, two years. And uh, then I uh, started to work in the family company. And I was in Iran uh, for the first time in uh, 1996. Excellent. And have been here many times since. Excellent. And, and what about your mother? Is this the first time you're here, ma'am? No, the first time was in 1977. Oh, so this is the second in time? January. I remember it very well. Okay. How do you like it, Iran? I like Iran very much. I love Iran. I, I do have many questions, so this yes, is the yes, first you're, time. Yes, you're, you're welcome. Okay, back to you, Mr. Martin. Uh, you said you've been here, here many times. And what was your first expression when you came to Iran? And after you visited many places in Iran, and Iranian, then what did you think? Uh, I think everybody anybody when they come to Iran uh, for the first time they must get uh, surprised uh, because of the fantastic hospitality that you see everywhere here. Thank you. Um, and uh, the special customs about taruf for example, taruf, yes. you have to do to, to learn uh, uh, the game. <laughs> the game, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, to have a good time actually, yes. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay, and, and which places of Iran have you seen? Uh? Oh, many places. How much time did you say that? We, uh, we do have, oh, uh, we do have, we do have <laughs> plenty of time. So don't <laughs> worry about the time. Uh, we have, we have been around uh, okay. a lot. Um, um, of course, uh, Tehran and surroundings, Isfahan and Shiraz, the places that you have to see when you are in Iran the first time. We have been there, but we have been to uh, Mashhad and Tabriz, Bijar. Um, Chahar Mahal area. Uh, what we like very much when we are in Iran is to, of course, to go to the big cities, Hamadan also, um, and then we always go to the small villages around that place. Uh, of because um, I like to see um, when, as an as a carpet dealer, I think it is my duty to know who is behind these pieces Car of yes, uh, exactly. art that I'm uh, selling <coughs> to my uh, customers. And uh, the only way you can understand is to go and see how is the sheep cut exactly. and how is the wool spun and dyed exactly. and how is the uh, carpet uh, uh, crafted. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very important for me to know everything about this. And, uh, and then at home, um, we, uh, we learn uh, a lot from uh, evaluating uh, carpets in private homes. That means you get to see how does a carpet look after 10 years, 50 exactly. years, 100 years, and that makes the, the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And then you can really get to know about things. Actually, as an expert uh, about carpets, uh, I'm going to have uh, some more questions too. But first, I'd like to get your impression uh, you know, away from the expert of a carpet. I'm getting your expression as a tourist, a person who comes to Iran, especially your mother too. Uh, what was your, uh, your, your impression of uh, visiting Iranian, as, as you mentioned, it was so surprising for the first time, and then you visited some p uh, people who had a great hospitality. You know, this is what Iranians are very famous for. But uh, away from that, uh, uh, what about the, the, the countries, the weather, every place? I'm sure that, well, of course, Europe is so green, and so probably the rainy, and everything looks green, actually. When you come to Iran, uh, a part of Iran is so green, but other parts, 
can be a little bit dry, but the dryness is also attractive, isn't it? It is, yes. We were in Nain uh, two years ago, in I think it was in June, <laughs> and that was oh, really, really hot. Very, hot. very hot. That was really hot. Mm -hmm. um, for example, we were in, a, in an under-earth uh, water mill. It was I very see. interesting to see, and the, all the old houses, uh, the historical I houses, see. Everything is, is very interesting to see. And for a European, everything <coughs> here is so different. Yes, uh, different. So uh, it's just uh, new impressions. Uh, yeah. So even the dryness can be attractive too. Well, uh, let's go and watch the first report about the uh, Iranian carpets and come back soon. Stay with us, and I'm sure you're going to love this program. <laughs> 